hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss about concepts constructs and variables in research methodology so these are very important phenomena to be discussed so let's begin with the concepts what do you we mean by uh, concepts in research methodology the first step in measurement process is to define the concepts that we are studying in our uh, research. So researchers they generate concepts by generalizing from particular facts. So you can say that uh, these concepts these are the explanation required development of the concepts or the generalizable properties or the characteristics associated with objects events or people so it may be objects such as person a uh, frame or uh, a car or anything right these are not the concepts while uh, these are the physical things you know and uh, their specific characteristics or their behavior such as a person attitude towards immigrants or a frame's capacity for innovation or a car's weight are known as concepts so in simple words you can say the concepts are the abstract things yes abstract things not the physical things but abstract things here you can see right you you cannot uh, see them but they are measurable for example these are the characteristics or the abstract ideas for example a person attitude a car weight right so these are the concepts and concepts can be based on real phenomena or or they are generalized idea of something right example other examples of concepts include common demographic measures for example income age educational level right and things like that so we can measure these concepts through direct and indirect method and direct method is through direct observation we can measure uh, someone's height or weight right or you can record the color of uh, their hair and indirect observation is we can use questionnaires in which the respondents provide uh, answers to our questions uh, about their gender income age and such attitudes and qualities and behaviors so these are known as concepts and further uh, now we'll discuss what construct is so constructs are measured with multiple variables we will also discuss what variable is their types as well right so construct <laughs> you can say constructs are somehow similar to concepts but the constructs are exist at higher level of abstraction than the concept uh, for example you can say justice beauty happiness health all these are uh, constructs right so these are considered as latent variables latent you know something that is invisible right something that is hidden you can say because they cannot be directly observable or major and uh, so here we go a construct is an abstract concept that is specifically chosen or created to explain a given phenomena right so a construct may be simple concepts such as persons weight or combination of related concepts such as person communication skills which may consist of several underlining concepts vocabulary syntax and spelling so the weight is a unidimensional construct while the letter the communication skill which is a multi-dimensional construct and it consists of multiple concepts right such as vocabulary syntax spelling and um, orthography or uh, semantics anything so the distinction between concept and construct are clear in multi-dimensional uh, constructs right <coughs> constructs are multi-dimensional where the higher order abstraction is the construct and where the lower order 
abstraction is called concept however this uh, distinction tend to be blur in the case of uni uh, di uh, dimensional cons constructs so further we will <coughs> try to look into this and try to differentiate between them construct used for uh, scientific research they must have a precise and clear definitions that others can use to understand exactly what it meant and what it does not for example for instance uh, a simple construct uh, such as income right salary or income may be referred to monthly or annual income before tax or after tax income and uh, it may be personal or family income and it is therefore neither precise nor clear and scientific research required operational definitions that define constructs in terms of how they will be empirically measured uh, and the operational definition of a construct such as temperature must specifically you can say we plan to measure temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit or Kelvin scale and a construct such as um, income should be defined in terms of whether we are interested in monthly or uh, annual income right and further distinction we can say that uh, that of uh, concepts and constructs constructs they are used for scientific research yeah, right they must have a precise definition and uh, so now we will discuss variable is variable uh, <coughs> in scientific research a variable is a measurable representation of an abstract construct right a variable is something that is measurable and variables are created by developing the constructs into a measurable form and uh, and uh, and they are they are uh, uh, corresponded to any characteristic that varies something that varies right as the name indicates variable something that varies that do not have a fixed value or you may heard about this variables in mathematics as well right we take variables which have which whose value varies from uh, from one place to another for example if we take a variable xyz and in different questions their their value varies right so this variable is also like that right and examples of variables include height in inches scores of depression inventory and ages of employees things like that and uh, abstract entities constructs are not clearly not directly measurable hence we can look for proxy measures called variables for example a person intelligence is offer measure uh, as his or her iq right through intelligent question iq score and which is an index generated from an analytical and pattern matching test administered to people so intelligence is a construct whereas the iq score is variable that measure the intelligence so um, further we will discuss the types of variables variables of uh, different types right and two important types of variables are uh, dependent and independent variables so as the name indicates dependent variable is something that depends on other right that depend on independent variable so uh, so it is it is uh, uh, the the dependent variable right it depends on the independent variable so so it is the uh, cost right and whereas the independent variable 
it does not depend it is independent so we will try to understand this through an example for example we can say that uh, in the in the growth of a plant there are two variables right we can take two variables uh, and uh, that are the growth of plant and second one is the sunlight right so here the sunlight that is uh, independent variable and uh, the growth plant growth that is dependent variable because it depends on sunlight right plant depend on sunlight for its growth so through this example we can understand dependent and independent variable right and here they are further examples are given and uh, so variables that explain other variables are independent variables right independent variables are those that are not affected by other variables but they can explain other variables as well and those that are explained by other variables are dependent variables and that are explained by independent variables but uh, while also explaining dependent variables are other some minor variables such as uh, mediating variables or uh, intermediate variables right and uh, these are the variables that are explained by independent variables no no they are explained by dependent variables and those that influence the relationship between independent and dependent variables are called moderating variables so this moderating this is not important two main categories of uh, variables are important that is independent and dependent variables as an example if we take the uh, higher intelligence cases causes improve learning among students then the intelligence is an uh, independent variable and learning is dependent variable right because the intelligence that is not affected by learning because and learning is dependent because it is affected by intelligence it is under the influence of your intelligence so there there may be other uh, extraneous variables right and uh, these variables must be controlled for in scientific study and they are called control variables some other variables are there as well control variables and uh, extraneous variables so we will try to understand through others other examples as well uh, for example if we believe that intelligence influence uh, students academic achievement right and intelligence here <coughs> is uh, independent variable while the measure of academic success such as grade gpa gpa or percentage that is dependent variable and further we will say so in academic achievement is viewed as intermediate step to higher uh, earning potential then earning potential becomes dependent variable for the independent variable that is academic achievement when we compare academic achievement with earning potential here the academic achievements become independent variable and whereas the earning potential it become dependent variable right and draw uh, further so this is enough i think about variables concepts and constructs so thank you for watching